Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Sharing Knowledge Video Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix VMware Workstation error. This host supports Intel VTX, but Intel VTX is disabled. The error VTX is disabled in the BIOS appears if virtualization is not enabled in your computer. Many computers have the virtualization disabled by default at the BIOS level and it needs to be enabled to set up a new virtual machine. In this case, the error message is very clear. Your CPU virtualization is disabled in the BIOS. You must need to reboot into the BIOS and enable visualization. That is what we are going to do. So watch the video and subscribe channel. Okay, follow this method. Okay, let's start. Open the Windows settings by pressing Windows logo key plus I. Then scroll down and select update and security. On the left pane of your screen, select the recovery option. Then on the right pane under advanced startup, click on restart now. After 4 hours, then you will see a blue screen window like this. Choose an option. Keep in mind, here do not double click on the selected options. Okay. Then select troubleshoot with a single click. Then select advanced options with a single click. And then select EFI firmware settings. Then click on restart to reboot the system. After for a while, then it will present a list of options associated with different keys. If you are using another operating system, restart the computer, quickly press escape with startup. Then it will present a list of options associated with different keys. Now we want to access the BIOS setup utility page. Press F10 key to access the BIOS setup utility page. Then you will see window like this. From the BIOS setup utility page, use your right arrow key to move to the system configuration tab. Inside the system configuration tab, check if there is virtualization technology listed. Then arrow key move down to virtualization technology. We want to set this option to enabled. To do that, press the under key. It will open possible options enabled or disabled. Then use your arrow key to move to choose enabled and then hit enter. Now to save the changes and exit, press F10, select yes and press enter. That's it. You are done. Your problem solved. Now you can run your VMware workstation player. Okay. I hope this video helped for you. Thanks for watching and supporting. If you have any issues, so please let me know in the comment section below. Your contribution is more confidence. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more useful videos. Once again, thanks for watching and supporting. See you next video. Bye. Take care.